This is Star Talk. This question comes from uh, Anthony Edward Stark, uh, coming to us from Twitter. Um, and, and I have to say, let me preface his question by saying, this is something that so many people, uh, I believe, uh, want to know and, and believe that this is the case. Here's what Anthony asked. Do you think we humans might be some alien species brought to Earth from some other planet? If yes, how? Now, of course, that is the Prometheus model uh, where we've been, human life was seeded on Earth. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we were seeded Maybe here. Maybe not deliberately, though. Maybe it started on Mars and came, you know, there's lots of rocks flying around the solar system. That, that, that theory is called panspermia. Okay. So if life got started, for instance, on Mars, a big rock uh, might Say that again now. That's, that theory is what now there, Dan? Yeah. Panspermia, that, okay. that life might get gonna, started I'm on another just, planet or a moon. I'm just letting then you then know, Dan, if you, if you notice, I did not oh, make yeah. a joke there. I, I, you should be very proud <laughs> there of me. Was plenty of opportunity. Okay, I just I let that, that go, Dan. Enormous restraint. I let it go. Did you see the restraint? Yes. Panspermia. Restraint. Let's let's hear more so, about panspermia. So, so suppose life got started on Mars. We know that big rocks smash <clears> into Mars occasionally, uh, and 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 then rocks go flying all over the place, Martian rocks, and some of them have come to Earth. You can go to Antarctica and find these rocks. If you find a black rock on the snow, then you see, you can find out that it's got Martian atmosphere in it. So we have rocks from Mars here on Earth that have, um, and maybe life got started on Mars or some other place and came here, and that's how life got started on Earth. We really don't know where it came from. It might have gotten started on Earth. Probably most likely it did get started on Earth, but we don't know, but if we do find life in our own solar system, a really interesting thing will be, is it a completely different kind of life? Does it use different chemicals, different chemistry, maybe a different kind of DNA, different amino acids? If, that's, if that happens, if we find a different kind of life with a different chemistry, that means that life got two completely independent starts in our own solar system. Wow. That means the universe is teeming with life. Wow. That, I mean, that's... Just the prospect of that is mind blowing because it means that throughout the entire galaxies, you could have like an unlimited, disparate amount of life. Oh, if and life forms. Dan is absolutely correct. If we ever find that a second genesis took place in our solar system, right. it means uh, the spell's been broken, right? Yeah. And uh, it means that life is no longer a bug but a feature of the universe in which we live. And that's, that's why, you know, we're so uh, passionate about wanting to find out the, the answer to this. Wow. Um, but, but anyway. Uh, that's exciting stuff. Yeah, I, I will say, of course, that the chances, what Dan was talking about, is that you could have an impact on a body like Mars or the Earth and have rocks from it go flying through the solar system and maybe even end up in the outer solar system on a moon like Europa or Enceladus. Okay. But the further out you go, the less the chances are actually for that to happen. So it's why some of us really think that uh, in our solar system, Enceladus is probably the best chance for us actually being to ask, ask the question whether or not uh, life has gotten started a second time gotcha. in our solar system. And it could be. The answer also could be that... Um, the chemistry, the biochemistry is the same. Maybe that's the best biochemistry that the universe has been able to right. come up with. <laughs> 